Africa has had several steps towards boldness. The boldness that we need on African continent has not yielded any fruits so far. We have been independent politically for over 66 years since the first country Ghana got independence. But have we ever looked back and said, what have we achieved? What can we achieve? What bold step do we take? We have created organization upon organization. We create ECOWAS, we create East African community. We create North African and a treaty, we are North African cooperation. We create Central Africa organization, Great Lakes organization. We create IGAD. We have created all sorts of SADAC. We create all sorts of organizations on the continent of Africa. But what bold step have these organizations taken to elevate, to elevate, to remove the, the poverty, the disease, the ignorance? Have we done too much and yet nothing seen on the ground? Have we tried to blow hot air, yet there is cold air? Have we ever been part and parcel of a scheme that can say I have boldly successfully done a good election? I've successfully done good governance. I've successfully turned my economy. My country has got is earning. As a president of a country in Africa, have you ever evaluated? Have you done? any fatigue evaluation as to whether your policies are moving towards a bold step are they getting better or worse how many presidents on the continent of africa look at this as very constructive positively do we as citizens of these countries also heap a lot expectations on our leaders do we help them? Do we talk to them? Do we tell them the truth? Do we make judgment? Do institutions work in Africa? How many institutions work? Every time one works, the other one counter works it down. We are pulled down as we walk up. What type of Africa do we need? Is Africa moving in the bold step? Is Africa a bold? step process is it in a process or oh, it has never started or oh, it might not start at all and this is exactly what we want to know in this show this anonigro is he right but what about you as a citizen who points fingers at the at your head of state do you look at the other fingers pointing at you when the rules are made in africa on the that don't drive a border border when you don't have a helmet. Do we drive, do we sit on these border borders? When we know very well that once the border border gets an accident, your head breaks into several parts on the tarmac. And then you tell people, Saidia, take me to hospital. Do we make these decisions boldly or timidly? The timid stand remains an African in a circle. I think, medium, very few people and the listeners and the viewers have been very bold. Who has been very bold? We have lost most of the leaders on the continent. We are bold. Robert Mugabe was bold. But how was Zimbabwe? Gaddafi was very bold. Where is he? He took a bold step to say, Africa has reached a stage where Africa must have its own way of governing itself. He was taken down. Where are the, the leaders that started this bold step? Kwame Nkrumah, overthrown by his own brother-in-law, General Achampong, in 1965, th thrown out of Ghana, died in a because there is no bold step that has been 
put in place for Congo to unite. Each Congolese is on his own and God for us all is Africa taking a step towards a bold decision. As we troop in into Washington DC at the invitation of President Joe Biden, how many African heads of state will come back and take a bold step and tell us this is how much I was given publicly and this is how much I was given privately. And I will invest this money to a clinic. We had President Obama, for example, who was the President of the United States of America. We all had hopes that for the first time in the history of American politics and the governance, an American system of existence, a black man had risen all the way from Kenya and was leading a superpower. But our hopes were dashed. There was no bold decision made as far as Africa was concerned. Obama left us worse than he found us. He only brought us a swimming pool, which still exists, but maybe the water pumps have died. Do we have a bold step? The only bold step that Obama did was to kill Osama bin Laden. And they said, we've done it. And that is true because Osama bin Laden killed very many people across the world and directed attacks on several institutions that had nothing to do with his quarrel with the status quo. Have we done our bold step? What is your bold step? I land my mic and I thank you very much, all of you, for listening to me on the question of bold step as we discuss and I open the floor for discussion. That is the bold step. Have you done anything boldly, moved one leg and said, I'm going to school to earn tools of analysis? so that tomorrow I can earn a living without begging anybody for a living. Thank you.